Hi, my name is Richard Morreale, and I'm the uh, interim director at the uh, Rockingham Community College. Martin was down here this week, and we were sitting there talking about some of the things that uh, small business center people get involved in. And we were talking mainly also about projects. Uh, my whole background has been in projects, managing big projects, projects that were in trouble, bringing projects in from the from the dark, and um, so the one thing I found over my over the years, and I've got uh, too many years to want to talk about, uh, was that mo most IT projects, most projects that we could get involved in, fail. Over seventy percent of projects fail. IT projects fail. That is the cost more than they're supposed to, they took longer to build than they're supposed to, or they didn't deliver what they were supposed to deliver. So what I found, though, was over the 40 years that I've been in, in business and in, in, in a project, I find that there's eight habits that really successful project managers build. And I'm going to tell you what those eight habits are now. The first one is know your outcome. A lot of projects start off without knowing what it is they have to deliver, and they just start delivering, and it's crazy. It's just nuts. So the first one is know your outcome and know it well. you got to know what it is you have to deliver before you start delivering. The second thing is plan the achievement. Now, I could have said plan the project. I could have said plan the progress. I could have said anything like that, but I like achievement words. So I say plan the achievement. What is it you're trying to do? You're trying to achieve. You're not trying to get progress. You want to achieve. And, and achievement, the, the, the word, the, the word is a good success word, I think. The third habit is organize for success. Now, we want to organize our people, bring on the right number of people, the right kind of people. And by the way, when I'm talking about the right kind of people, let's not just talk about technical people. I'm talking about people with real soft skills, planning, organizing, monitoring, controlling, plus the real soft skills of, of uh, uh, enthusiasm, energy, commitment, commitment to excellence, commitment to success. Those are the soft skills that I expect a project manager to have to deliver my projects. The fourth habit is gain and maintain commitment. You know the difference between involvement and commitment. We've all heard that joke that, you know, the chicken is involved and the pig is committed. And what we want to make sure of is that once we know what the plan is, once we have the, the organization in place, once we know what it is we have to deliver, then we have to be more than just involved. We have to be uh, committed to it. We're going to do this no matter what. We're going to do it no matter what. We're going to deliver this thing on time on cost and what it's supposed to do. The, the fifth habit is simply take massive action. Now, I'm not talking about just some little piddly old, piddly old action here. I'm talking about massive action. You, till you plan. You can take massive action, but it's not to the plan, and you're not really achieving anything. So you take massive action till you plan. The sixth habit is to monitor and control achievement. It's absolutely essential that on a very timely basis, you take a look at what's supposed to be and done and what is being done. What's supposed to have been finished this week is finished this week. It's absolutely essential that you maintain and, and control achievement. The seventh habit is to stay focused. It's, uh, it's easy to lose focus when you're running a project. You've got this document over here or this Whatever it is that's saying what it is you have to deliver, you're all for it. This is what we're going to deliver. And then throughout the project, throughout the next six to eight months, the focus starts getting fuzzy. And people start wanting you to do little things different than, that, than, you, than in the design. But it's absolutely essential that you stay focused. And the eighth is one of the habits that most very successful and uh, wealthy men practice. And um, maybe you should guess it, but I'm not going to let you guess. I'm going to tell you, the eighth habit is have fun. Life is short. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. My name is Richard Morreale, and I'm the interim director at the Rocketham Community College. Yay, Eagles.